I have to see one thing. It's they said they made Sauron's mace. I, I have to see that. Like, just a second. What the fuck? How the fuck do you make Sauron's mace? It's paper mache? No, bro. Like, there's no way it's paper mache. What the fuck? Oh, that was The Hobbit, the movie that was bad. Oh, shit. They made Doomhammer? You should see that? Really? Okay. Well, let me, let me skip halfway through. I just want to see what it looks like at the end, honestly. Like, I really don't even give a fuck about how they made it. I just want to see what it looks like. And we can look at Doomhammer after that, okay? Lord of the Rings was so much better. No, here's the thing, right? Is that... Um, no, ruined? You guys want to watch the whole thing? Is my ban over? Unfortunately, it is. Like a fucking maze? Okay. But it's not the same people? Uh, yeah, it does seem to be. What is this? Is that Ron Perlman? What the fuck? Oh, it's a different guy. That's the, uh... That's that guy that's in all the movies. What's his name, McConnell? Huh? Okay. Let me, let me see what Dude, the did you is. know Ron Perlman's a huge Democrat? Like, he's a huge Hillary supporter, man. Yeah, I, I've seen him tweet. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of tweets. Well, that's solid. They use a large propane burner to heat the mace and burn off the oil to give us the surface we're looking for. Then we'll apply some WD-40 oil. They changed the smiths. The heat, That's the too bad. Seals it all in. And then we'll go back with a hand scotch spray and highlight the whole piece. Certainly don't have a kiln big enough to stick something like this in. Wow. And even if we did, it'd be pretty dangerous sticking something so heavy. So this is a great way to do it. And it also gives it to look like it's been forged in the fires of Mordor. Pretty excited to be doing a build for the Lord of the Rings. Sauron's Mace by far shows a couple clips in the movie where he just wipes out a whole line of men with one swing. So we're doing it big and bad, and I can't wait to get it done. I don't see why. Why would they attack Sar- Like- Damn. Okay, now smash some shit. Oh shit! I wonder how heavy it is. God damn! Looks like that guy can barely fucking move it. Holy shit! What the fuck? Why is he dressed up like a predator, though? Like, that, that's kind of- No, that's, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's what you do with a fucking mace. What? You smash some- you smash some shit. Well, I mean, but you don't want to do that with a sword because it could mess up the blade. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, idiot. Well, why would you want to mess up the sword that you just made? I- I, I literally Christmas just said that. Click here to subscribe, or click here to watch more episodes. I don't think that you said that. Like... Yes, I did. I said, why are they smashing things with a sword? A sword is meant for piercing or cutting, not smashing. Okay. Well, I mean, like, can't you... Don't you watch that one guy on YouTube that, go, like, reviews fucking weapons? You watch oh. that guy, right? Uh, he's, like, uh... He's European Russian or guy? something. Everybody... No, not the Russian guy, man! The other guy, dude, he like reviews all the yeah, Skull Skullgrim, Skullgrim or something. That's that's him right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I I guess I just didn't know about that. And like, let's say you have like let's say it's a potato, okay? Now you can take a hammer and smash a potato, but you can take a sword and cut it in half. You see, so you can do both at the same time with the same thing. You see what? what I'm saying? 
Just shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Uh...